In Sparking Zero, there are 182 characters ranging from 10 DP to... Wait, I feel like I already did this intro the other day. Just go watch that video. It's the same intro. But today, I'm not going to be playing as those characters. I'm going to be ranking the best character from every single DP class. Now, keep in mind, I am not that good at the game. I'm a very average player. I don't even really watch competitive play ever. So this is completely from the perspective of somebody who's just played the game 150 hours. A lot of ranked, a lot of casual. I'm very average, so feel free to let me know down below why my picks are wrong and stupid. This is just coming from my experience playing the game. And I'll also be throwing in my personal favorite character from each DP class as well. So that's enough jibber jabber, let's just get into it. Also, quick disclaimer, I'm ranking every single one of these characters as they are. That means I'm not taking into account the fact that they can transform. So a base form Goku is a base form Goku here. We're not taking into account that he can turn into Super Saiyan Blue or anything like that. All right, let's get into it. With one DP, there's one character. So Hercules by default the best. Moving on. With two DP, there are nine characters. I'm not gonna name them all, you can see them on your screen. But I believe after playing a lot online, I think Frieza Soldier really is the standout character here. And <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face, I'm joking. We'll start with my favorite, which is Videl. I just love her voice line when you choose her for battle. Let's freaking go! And the after image strike is obviously a nice bonus. But then I also admittedly find it satisfying to land the Videl strike back to back. Though it's extremely annoying to be on the end of. But also, she's got an insta spark. But the strongest 2 DP cost character, in my opinion, is Master Roshi. He also has After Image Strike, which is a bonus, and it's really kind of a toss-up between him and Videl. But Roshi's versatility with Key Blast puts him above Videl, who can only toss out one Key Blast. Also, his Thundershock surprise is unblockable and a great giant counter. Honorable mention, Yajirobe. That heal factor is still really fucking good. Now, in 3 DP, there are 16 characters, and my favorite in the game is probably actually Super Zarbon. Not even close to my favorite character out of the bunch, but he has some of the most unique attacks out of all the characters here. His Elegant Blaster is just one of my favorite blast attacks in the entire series. And his ultimate being one of the few grabs in the game make it really fun, but definitely not optimal. And the best 3 DP character, I believe, to be Pan. Again, no surprise I put another After Image Strike character here. Us average players really struggle against it. But until that move is nerfed, characters who have it will just be too good. And whilst Krillin also has it in this tier, I just feel that Pan's super attacks and ultimate are just overall better than his, having two rushes, which is always nice to be able to chain into. Honorable mention, Raccoon! He's got an insta spark, a super armor buff, but his grenade bomber and Raccoon fighting bomber are pretty easy to block. At 4 DP, we have 23 characters. If you've popped into basically any of my streams, by the way, join the streams I stream on my YouTube channel, I'm probably gonna start streaming on Twitch multi-stream as well. But anyways, if you popped into a stream, you would know Turles is one of my favorite characters and probably my favorite movie villain. It's such a shame he is possibly the worst super attack combo in the game. Kill Driver is a sick attack, but so easy to dodge or block. And full power energy wave combo does so little damage even in the rare case when it does hit. I still love him though, especially his ultimate and his little fruit snack skill. Now at 4 cost, the roster does expand and I could put a number of different characters as the top, but I think Dr. Wheelo takes the cake for me. Definitely nobody's favorite character. Giants are just still too dirty with their super rush and down smash. Add in that Wheelow has an insta spark and you've got a dirty combo. Though I don't see many Giants in ranked, so maybe people have figured out a surefire way to counter Giants that I don't know about and they suck now. If that's the case, then look to my honorable mentions. I told you, I'm not a competitive player. Honorable mentions go to Android 19 and 20, for obvious reasons. But also Adult Gohan for his full power charge and wild sense combo. Plus his explosive demon wave and explosive flash strike being fairly good super attacks. At 5 DP we have 37 characters. Now the roster expands even more and this is a little tough to pick my favorite but I gotta go with my boy Baby Vegeta. My favorite GT villain. I even love his base form. Plus this is the closest we'll ever get to a base form GT Vegeta in a video game. His finger blitz barrage attack sucks ass but I love it. Now we're getting to the point where I'm probably gonna get yelled at in the comments. In fact we probably already passed that point. But GT based Goku takes this spot for me as the best. Again, another after image strike character. But Solar Flare is also a solid utility move and having an unblockable ultimate is always a plus. Honorable mentions. Fuck the Giants, but the cells for their absorption capabilities. And future Gohan for his solid wild sense full power charge combo. Plus the fact he has a spin around attack in his combo set as a base form character, which is pretty rare for the Saiyans. At 6 DP, there are also 37 characters. Now Vegeta is my favorite character in the series and Super Vegeta is my favorite form of Vegeta so of course this is my favorite 6 DP character. Plus he's got an insta spark and a blockable ultimate and one of the coolest rush attacks in the game in my opinion. A manga only attack by the way. And as for the top spot another difficult pick but I think I'm gonna go with Kefla. The extra health and damage boost she gets just puts her above some of the other characters here for me. 
plus the wild sense move and a rush attack are good flexible moves. Honorable mentions, people keep saying Frieza is really good, but I just don't see it, so I'll throw him in here. But for me, I would say Super Saiyan Adult Gohan, just like his base form. The full power charge is really good. He just lacks a good rush attack, otherwise I may have put him top. At 7 DP, the roster shrinks a bit. We have 31 characters, and my favorite one to use here might just be Metal Cooler because I love being revived by the big Getty star. Also, he's got a cool grab. As for the top dog in the 7 DP sphere, I think it has to be Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. The two key costs Kamehameha, the rush attack, the insta spark, and unblockable ultimate, he just can't be beat for me. Plus, he's got an explosive wave to boot. Shit on me in the comments all you want, but he's definitely up there. Honorable mention, another Gohan. Ultimate Gohan. Has a nice Wild Sense Insta Spark combo, plus some solid super attacks, plus he's just a sick character. But I'll throw Bootanks in there too for his giant counter Galactic Donut Volley and his regeneration skill. At 8 DP, we have 18 characters. My favorite playable character here is a toss up, but I'm gonna have to give Super Saiyan 4 Goku some love here. Especially as the hope that he may one day be canon has slowly faded away over the years. But he's got one of the coolest Kamehameha's, a sick rush attack, and one of the coolest ultimates. Plus, telling someone you'll beat them in 5 seconds before you proceed to beat them in 5 seconds is some of the coldest shit in the game. As for the best, Super Vegito. I still think one of the most unbeatable things in this game is a sparking mode Super Vegito with After Image Strike active. Like, who thought it was a good idea to give this man After Image Strike? Just tell me, who? Can we just move on? And I'm actually a Vegito over Gogeta Stan, by the way. Honorable mention. I'm gonna go with Super Saiyan 2 Kefla as the honorable mention. Again, the increased health and damage she does, plus the Insta Spark and Unblockable Explosive Wave type ultimate just makes her a menace. At 9 DP, we have only 5 characters. Now here's where my favorite character and the best character coincide. Z Broly. I hate feeling guilty playing this character because I absolutely love him, but he is just too broken with his Insta Spark, Key Spam, Ultimate combo. Plus he's got a Rush Attack and an Explosive Wave. And who the fuck decided to give this man free Super Armor? To be honest, basically any of these characters could be top, but I just think with my experience online, Z Broly takes the cake. Honorable mention, full power Jiren seems to be someone people talk about as being really dirty, and his insta spark and explosive wave combo are definitely optimal. Plus the unblockable ultimate is nice, as always. And finally at 10 DP again, a total of 5 characters here. My favorite 10 DP character is definitely Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I mean just the way he combos so fast is satisfying as hell. His rush attack isn't quite as cool as it was in Budokai Tenkai G3, but I guess it's more anime accurate and it's still nice. And he's got Wild Sense plus an Insta Spark. This guy's the GOAT. But the actual GOAT, I believe to be Beerus. An Insta Spark and even a heal which people don't usually use because they're so focused on using his sparking into his unblockable ultimate. His Sphere of Destruction is pretty meh, but his Akai Headshot is a good rush attack and I've probably been victim to Beerus the most out of any character online. Honorable Mention. Again, probably all these characters could be top, but I saw some high level gameplay where two top players were using Super Saiyan Blue Vegito a while back, and his full power charge is pretty optimal it seems in competitive gameplay. Again, I don't know nothing about competitive gameplay, I don't really care about it too much, but that's just what I saw from that one stream. Well that's the video guys, let me know how wrong I was down in the comments. Again, this is an average player's perspective, I didn't put pro player in my thumbnail or title. So go to their channel or streams if you want to find the pro player list of the best characters optimal in the game. I don't care about that stuff. This is just from my experience. Make a fun little video. It ain't that serious. But I love you all if you made it to this point. Like the video anyways. We can disagree and you can still like the video. That can happen. And make sure to subscribe if you're new as well. It's getting harder and harder to find Sparking Zero content to come up with in my head. But I'm gonna keep going for you guys. Because as many problems as the game has, I do genuinely still enjoy it. With that being said, hit the join button as well if you want to support me in a deeper way. That would mean the world. I love you all. Take it easy. And peace.